many countries in the world at the moment are suffering from a low birth rate. In fact, most countries outside sub-Saharan Africa now have birth rates, which mean their populations are declining. So you need just over two children per adult woman to sustain a population. And almost all countries in the world have less children per adult woman than that. So there is a huge global problem, except in sub-Saharan Africa. Now, if you have a declining population, then first of all, there's the problem of your society becoming extinct in the long term, which is not great. But also it means you don't have enough children coming into your workforce. And also it means you don't have enough children to look after elderly parents, which is very sad for the parents um, because in old age they may be very isolated and alone and they may have to be cared for by public services, which costs the taxpayer a lot of money. But more importantly, it makes people um, just not feel they've got any relative caring for them. So for lots of reasons, a declining birth rate is a really big and sad problem. Now, there are so many countries <laughs> that have it. I mean, Japan, a population has gone down from 130 million to 120 million. Um, and now they're having to close rural schools and and whole rural areas are becoming depopulated as the remaining children and parents move into urban areas. So um, it's a very sad problem in Japan. It's just that in Korea, you have the lowest birth rate in the world. It's lower than much lower than Japan. It's lower than China. It's uh, and the rest of East Asia. And it's much lower than Europe or United States or other countries. So you are in a particular crisis of demography. Yeah. Many, many countries have tried to do that as the answer to their <laughs> declining birth rate. And it seems so simple. You just give a woman another thousand dollars and then they have more children. Well, actually, in practice, they don't. And the reason for that is that it isn't primarily, I think, a problem of money. It's more a problem of time. I mean, how do you manage to keep your job and look after lots of children? How do you collect them after school? Well, maybe the parents could collect them. I mean, your parents could collect them after school because, you know, they don't have jobs anymore. They're retired. Can't they look after the children? Well, of course, they can as long as they live close to where you live, but they don't live close to where you live in a big urban city. Maybe they live, you know, an hour away. So there's lots of problems that are all intertwined here. Well, I think you need a variety of new policy initiatives. I don't think you can solve it with just one decision by a government. So I think the first thing is that you need to try and reduce working hours. At the moment, South Korea has probably the longest working hours in the world, but probably comparable, I expect, with China, but it's around 70 hours a week. And then you have your, on top of that, you have travel, which may be an hour each way to and from work. So when you put that huge number of hours together, first of all, there's no time to date another person, a woman or a man. There's no time for dating. There's no time for marriage. And certainly there's no time for having children, looking after them and everything else without sacrificing your career. That leads to the education system. So the education system is teaching all the kids that the most important thing is to succeed in your career as an individual. It is not teaching you at school. The most important thing is your relationships. Who's going to look after you in old age, the joy of having children. And, and that that is actually greater than having a bit more money in your career. And also imagine what is going to be on your gravestone. Why are you going to put on your gravestone um, a highly successful business executive? Or are you going to have on your gravestone a much loved husband, father and child? It seems the North Koreans have much less of a problem. So their birth rate is almost three times the birth rate in South Korea. So it's not quite at a sustainable level, but it is very nearly. It is slowly starting to decline, but very slowly. So it seems, I think, that most rural families are still having lots of children. That may be because they need the children to work the farms. 
so they don't think of children so much as in terms of a cost how can i pay to feed this child but more in terms of the workforce and being able to produce what's required on the farm so they don't seem to have the same attitude or the same problem in that respect as south korea